Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. So I just got back from Dayton, Hamvention, uh, better known now today as Xenia uh, Hamvention, but it's still pretty much called Dayton. Now, there were a few announcements this year, not a whole lot in the radio world of new radios coming out, but Flex did announce their new 8000 series. Now, as of May uh, 17th, uh, 2024, Flex stopped producing the uh, 6000 series radios. That would be the 6400 and the 6600, I believe. As of right now, the hardware and software support for these radios will still uh, continue as long as it can, as long as it's possible. I mean, there are some parts that they are having problems with getting out now. Uh, so some of the parts, uh, some of the parts are not available anymore. Just like all the other, Yesus run through the same thing. Icom has the same problems. And from what Mike had to say at Dayton, uh, when I interviewed him, let, well, let's just listen to what Mike had to say and then we'll come back to it. Let's watch the video clip here. Anyway, the 8000 replaces the 6000 series. Uh, it was time for a hardware refresh. And, and no surprise to any of us in the electronics world, the game radio, that uh, of today that uh, parts don't aren't available forever. You know, and it's part of the life cycle. Uh, and uh, so we've come up with a new radio, the 8000. It's uh, got a four times faster CPU. Uh, it's got a two times faster field programmable gate array, the FPGA, where all the work's done which also allows us to have a beautiful radio and a thin client like your phone at the other end without having to use a gaming computer. So Mike uh, VA3MW and Steve Hicks N5AC have a video on this and I will link that down in the description below. So what's new for uh, Flex this year? Their 8000 series. The, the main thing, like you heard, some parts are getting hard to get, but the main uh, upgrade on this radio is going to be that it will have more processing capabilities. You know, the uh, the old radios came out in 2010, and you know, guys, you know, computers they change every year. So, so 14 years ago, the processing uh, capabilities have improved a lot since 2010. All right. So one of the other things that improved in this radio is the GPS in the radio itself. In the past, they only used the U.S.-based uh, GPS, which is GPS. Let me throw up a, a picture here of the new what the new radios will encompass, and we'll talk about it a little bit. The GPS has been upgraded using not only the U.S.-based GPS, but now they have added GLONASS, the Russian uh, so Galileo, which is the European, and then QZSS, which is the Japanese version. With the radio's 32-channel receiver, it can track them at the same time. Now, the last column there is the SBAS, uh, that's a satellite-based augmentation. These are geostationary satellites that add more reliability and accuracy to the system. The GPS is used to discipline the oscillators to be more accurate on frequency. Now, one of the other new things in the radio is something that they've been trying to bring out for a long time. It's the adaptive pre-distortion, uh, IM, IMD, which is intermodulation distortion. The radio makes real-time adjustments to clean up your signal I don't, if you guys watch, if you have a, a radio that has a nice uh, spectrum scope on it, it will show the signals and the signals kind of, well, let me show you their slide here. Here's a, here's a slide of the IMD. So what, basically what you're doing is you're cleaning up the signals um, so they don't filter out. So when you see a guy that has this pre-distortion, I've watched a few guys here uh, local to me, uh, it's just like a brick wall, it just boom, wherever they're, if they're set at 3000, kilohertz it's it's it's, it's exactly 3000 kilohertz uh, most radios will bleed over a little bit and most of that probably won't be heard all right so this pre-distortion will work also it works with the radio and also with their pgxl amp and i'll put another slide up here for you from their video this will also work with third party amps by by adding an rf sampler as i understand all this is coming later and the first radios will have the ability and then the software support will come at a later date. Okay, so the 8000 series radios will also have a better noise floor and spectrum view and also the ability to see multiple uh, bands at this, on the same spectrum scope. Now, the, the Smart SDR, you guys might want to know about that, is supposedly being continually updated all the time and will keep up with the new radios. Uh, if you're a, a 6000 user, 
Uh, you shouldn't have any problems with the new radios. Everything will be the same. The only things that will be different are, are the newer added features that they that will come to this radio, like the, you know, the the uh, adaptive pre distortion stuff. Also, the the uh, radio has a 40 kilohertz bandwidth that will give FT8 users the ability to send signals at the uh, 40 kilohertz, which will which is legal by, by using multiple carriers at, at 3000 kilohertz each. As you know, you're probably, you're, you, in the US here, I think we're, we can only have three kilohertz wide in that. So uh, it will still put that out, but it'll put out multiple carriers. So uh, your chances of getting a, picking up a signal are probably a little bit better. And it works with any other radios. And they, they, they actually uh, are gonna put this open source later for, um, for other manufacturers to put this into their radios also if they want to. Uh, I'm sure some of those can already do that anyhow. So I just want to bring this to you guys. Uh, I did talk to Michael, like I said, and I don't know how much of uh, the interview. If you want to see the interview I had with him, go to Coffee and Ham Radios. It's in the uh, in our Dayton um, Hamvention video or live stream that we did if you want to hear everything he had to say. So I hope this is uh, helpful to any of you guys. Uh, thinking about buying a flex radio or or maybe picking up one of the older ones that somebody decides they want to upgrade or something like that so if it is hey p hit that like and if you're new here hit the subscribe button hit the bell hit all that way you get all my future videos and uh we'll probably have michael on the uh coffee and ham radios here pretty soon to have him come live on that to explain everything to you 73 all and uh i hope to catch you guys in the airways maybe someday i'll have a flex Never know. 73 all.